I remember it well. The two old men sat together in the first row, looking delighted. I am going to call them Mr. A and Mr. M as a thin veneer of anonymity since they are well known. They were both in their 90s and didn't often attend corporate events anymore. Sons, daughters, grandchildren and a sprinkling of distant relatives all pulled their weight now. But these two old men had been there at the start and if it weren't for them, there would have been nothing to celebrate 60 years off. So they wore their garlands with pride that day and enjoyed the attention. A pudgy, middle-aged man approached them smilingly. He was evidently sensitive to the frailties of advanced age, for he introduced himself immediately. I'm Gautam Roy, sirs, and it is a great pleasure to see both of you again today. Mr. M., marginally more spry, stuck out his hand immediately. Ah, I remember you well. You were the young fellow who ran the Britannia account. You've put on a lot of bait, my man. I think company is paying you too well. Ha, 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 the old man roared over his joke till he received a dig in the ribs from Mr. A. Roy looked a bit shamefaced and tried to suck in his ample gut. But before he could get out a word, Mr. A burst out, What nonsense, M. This fellow was not in sales at all. He was in accounts and he was always fat. Weren't you, Roy? Poor Roy had gone red from holding in his tummy, but humbly acknowledged, You are absolutely right, sir. I am still in accounts and I was always on the heavy side, as you say, sir. My wife says I put on weight on air and water. The three of them had a chat, with Mr. M still confused as to how this sales fellow had shifted to accounts. Somebody offered them a tray of cold drinks and both the seniors accepted and dug in with alacrity as a young girl in a business suit came racing up and plucked the glass only partially drunk out of Mr. A's hand. She looked at him sternly and he smirked guiltily up at her. I thought it was rude to say no. She wagged her finger lovingly at him. Don't think for a minute that I believe you, Grandpa. This thing is loaded with sugar. And since when has being thought rude stopped you? Mr. M grinned at his friend wickedly as he drained his own glass of the sweet drink ostentatiously. During this contretemps, Roy had taken his much maligned gut and slunk away before any more blunt remarks were shot at him. So the two old gents cast around for some new entertainment. An old lady about their vintage approached them with a walking frame and a hesitant smile. The old gents immediately made to get up from their chairs. But at 90 plus, that's not a quick operation. She politely insisted they stayed seated. She just wanted to thank them. You don't know me, sirs, she started. And at once, Mr. M broke in. But of course I do. The name is on the tip of my tongue. Just give me a moment to remember. My memory is still sound. I remember every single person who ever worked for me. But the old lady was shaking her head. I never worked for you. It was my daughter, Nirmala. Mr. A gasped with breathless laughter as he enjoyed his buddy's discomfiture. He always says he remembers everything well, even the things that never happened. Never worked for you at all. Then how can you remember, huh? That was too much exertion for the old man and he was reduced to a fit of coughs. It happens, the old lady said diplomatically. At our age, both the mind and the body play games with us. They invited her to sit beside them, but she said getting up again was too difficult, so she'd just convey her daughter's good wishes and thank the company for always inviting her in Nirmala's stead since she'd settled in Australia. 
the two old codgers sat in companionable silence. They knew more candidates would present themselves. It was ever so on this day. The seed they'd planted 60 years ago, over which they'd fretted and fussed, never knowing from day to day if it would take root and survive, had grown into a big, strong tree with a girth so vast they couldn't get their arms around it anymore. Now, they could sit in the shade of that tree knowing someone else was tending it. That they only needed to enjoy its fruits and be thanked for planting the seed. An energetic woman with her hair severely knotted in a tidy bun bustled up to them, a gaggle of young things flocking like goslings behind her. You better not let me down in front of these kids, sir. Tell them how many times I saved you from disaster. She had a friendly, familiar manner and both the old men beamed at her. No one can ever forget you, Shanti. She joined us when she was younger than you kids. Straight out of school, I think, when the company was still very young. But soon, she had us fully in her control. Most organized person in the whole world never forgot or misplaced a single thing and always reminded us of who and what and how much and why. Even when we had two memories between the two of us, not just half, chuckled Mr. Ray. And they still call her for company history. And if she says it's such and such, you can be sure it is exactly so. She's never been wrong. No one challenges me anymore, sir. My reputation is intact, especially since you have remembered me correctly today. I brought these young ones to meet you both. They are the latest batch of new recruits. They don't know what efforts we put in the early days to create this business. Please bless them, sir, for they are the foot soldiers of the future of this company. The two old men were delighted to receive the admiration and respect of these young things. For all too soon, this bright and beautiful day would be over and they would go back to being just old men, not old heroes as they were here that day. Mr. M encouraged the young things, Come and visit us. We have plenty of old stories. We weathered some huge storms, didn't we, Shanti? Many's the time he and I would have drowned if Shanti had not come along with a lifeboat. Incredible woman! Incredible woman! I remember those days very well. And Mr. Ray slapped him manfully on his thigh, admonishing the kids. Don't you believe a word of it? The only thing he remembers is to say that he remembers it well. The two old friends looked laughingly into each other's eyes as Shanti led away her flock of giggling youngsters. They'd been through such exciting experiences together, she and her two old men. Age had dimmed their memory of their fantastic old days. But she was a bit younger and she remembered it all too well.